I'm Tarek S. This is the Film In Project and today we'll look at what happens when you put film, 35mm film, into lemon juice. Now, I started this project in the UK, I've said that a few times now, but to review that footage, let's head back over there and then we'll come back to Sydney and look at the results. Okay, lemon juice. So I couldn't just find straight normal lemon juice anywhere so in the end i actually just blended a whole bunch of lemons up and i was left with this glass full of pulpy lemony mess basically um but yeah like always i dropped the film in i didn't actually need the bits of card to hold them up the lemon was so thick it just held them up on their own um now this is my problem uh, I was just about to blame my hard drive, but it's totally my fault. I didn't put all of the experiment videos on here. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of explaining. The idea is that it goes 10 minutes, half an hour, one hour, two hours, but I was testing the 10 minute one every few hours and there was no change. I was scanning it, nothing. So I've got this video of three days later and well, it is starting to have a bit of an effect. The brown part of the film was leaking into the lemon juice. So at this point, I just took them all out and scanned them. So yeah, back to Sydney. All right, so back in Sydney, I came down from Town Hall to Circular Quay, big old bridge behind me. I, w I was gonna go in front of the Opera House, but I think that's prettier, right? I think it is. I think it's way prettier. Anyway, you saw what I had to do with the lemon juice and I lost some footage along the way somehow. Um, but I hope you got a bit of an idea of the experiment. Um, yeah, let's stop wasting time and let's check out the results. Okay, okay, let's do it. So this is Georgia. This is my girlfriend. She's sitting in her car. I'm pretty sure we we had just done a night shift and we was on our way home and we grabbed a coffee and my camera happened to be in the car so I took four snaps of her and then well we're only going to look at three because I took that first one out and nothing happened so these are the three day free films so this is the first one and yeah like I said I noticed that something was happening and all that's really happened is it's just gone a bit darker, right? The lemon juice dries very sticky, so I know some of these white lines are just just dust and general crap. Um, I couldn't really get off, so let's look at the next one. Um, this one had some time to dry a bit more, and you start to see by the car handle just above, you got these two kind of, I don't know, white blobs. That is the white piffy stuff that I wouldn't have got if I used just clean lemon juice, but I prefer it. I really like the fact that it's there. So I figured for the last one, let me let it dry for as long as possible. And it was completely dry and this is what it looks like. And yeah, you just get more of those white wibbly piffy lemon lines. So. If this is all I learned from this experiment, if I want this kind of effect, then I know what to do. I know blend up lemons, put it on there and let it dry. Then you'll get these kind of wispy white lines. So I'm really happy with it. I think it's a def definitely a good effect and I could use it again in the future. So I tried to get them off after they had dried and it didn't work. Look at this. Yeah, I ended up just scratching her face. Um, <laughs> yeah, but cool. I'm happy with it. Back to Sydney. All right, lemon juice, done. In the bag. We can put it on the list of, I think, good stuff. I think on the list of stuff that works. I don't necessarily think it has to be lemons, though. It could be anything, really. Anything that will produce that piffy I don't yeah I still don't know what you call it pulp or piff 
or whatever whatever that white stuff is on lemons and oranges I think grapefruits as well but yeah it's good I like it um, let's leave it there all I'm gonna ask again just comment let me know what you think let me see what you're working on I really want to try and bring about a bit of a community and a I don't know just a creative place for people I use YouTube just because it's a platform I haven't really used before and yeah I just want to get some suggestions really what videos I can do next all that type of stuff so thanks for watching until the next one uh, yeah thank you hey I'm sorry I'm back I said I was going but this building behind me is the Museum of Contemporary Art and me and a six foot frog called Kingsley we work on a lot of projects together and I'm just doing this at the end of this video just to be held accountable because one day our work is going to be in this building. Alright that was it, bye bye.